This right here is the Let's Resin UV Bonding Resin Kit I got off Amazon. It's basically glue that's UV curing, so it comes with this 30 gram bottle of the resin, as well as a rechargeable UV lamp. It's got a USB port here, you can plug it into a phone charger to charge it up, and it's got a UV LED in the tip to cure the resin. Considering it's $12 for this bundle, it's not a bad price. Let's test it out and see if it's any good. Let's start by repairing these cheap digital calipers. This plastic part broke off, so let's try gluing it back on. I start by putting a little bit of the resin on the broken part. And this resin is pretty viscous, it's like a gel, so it generally stays where you put it. Now I'm just going to hold it like that. And we can cure it and see how it works. You can see here after just a few seconds of curing, these pieces are bonded together. However, because the material I'm working with, the plastic is opaque, you do have to let it cure fully for 24 hours before putting any kind of load on it. However, while we're here, I'm going to add a little more resin to just reinforce that joint. So you can see here the UV resin cures pretty fast. That eliminates the need for clamps or jigs. If I were using epoxy or super glue, I would need a clamp for this and the resin fills gaps nicely. So let's let this fully cure overnight and test it out. And here's the finished repairs. You can see the resin has fully cured. This piece is stable. It's not gonna come off if I just wiggle it, it's solid. So yeah, let's get these calipers reassembled and see how well the repair holds up. Here are the fully repaired calipers. So you can see here, there is that glue joint right there on the little plastic bracket. This plastic bracket holds that stainless steel wheel in place and it seems like it's holding up. I can move the wheel freely, nothing jams up and it's still holding up. So yeah, this UV resin glue works great in my experience for weaker parts that you don't want to clamp up. Like if I were to use epoxy on the small plastic piece, it would be really annoying trying to clamp it up. With the UV resin, I can hold it in place, blast it with the UV light for a few seconds, and it hardens right up. You do still have to let it cure at least overnight afterwards if it's an opaque item that you're repairing, but this does add a lot of convenience to those simple repairs. It's not as strong as epoxy or super glue, and I wouldn't use it for anything structural, but as you can see here, it does come in handy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. I'll see you all next time.